In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up multiple audio outputs and also independent MIDI receive channels using the original GPO contact player. This will then allow you to record eight separate MIDI tracks and you can also have them routed to individual audio channels in the mixer. So I have track one selected, so I'm clicking on the MIDI button and the MIDI panel unfolds and left click where it says out, go to new instrument, GPO, personal orchestra, VST. The multi-channel routing window opens up and I'm selecting extended options and clicking on multi-channel create new tracks for instrument outputs, including stereo mono standard and audio MIDI combined tracks also send MIDI. So click OK. So the contact player is now open and if I click on the mixer tab you can see that the first eight tracks have been assigned to multiple outputs as you can see by looking at the instrument slots but there's still some routing to do so I'm going to walk you through that. So track one is still selected so I'm going down to the MIDI tab and I'm left clicking and I'm going to select MIDI out one. Make sure you have instrument slot 1 selected in the contact player and click on the load button and load a sound. You can now see the MIDI receive channel is set to 1 and the audio output for that instrument is 1 and 2. Boost the volume a bit. So that's track 1 assigned, so now I'm going to select track 2. Set the MIDI output to channel 2. I'm now going to click on the second instrument slot here and load a sound. It's now automatically set to MIDI channel 2, but I need to assign the audio output to 3 and 4. Increase the volume a bit. So now we have instruments 1 and 2 assigned to different audio and MIDI outputs. I'll open the mixer so you can see they're assigned to different channels. I'll close the mixer. Now I'm going to assign track 3 to MIDI channel out number three. Click on slot three and load a new instrument. That's receiving on channel three so then I need to left click and select five and six as the audio output for that instrument. Now I'm clicking on track 4 and left clicking and selecting MIDI channel 4. Click on the fourth instrument slot and load a new sound. That's now receiving on MIDI channel 4 and I left click and assign the audio output to 7 and 8. I'll whack up the volume a bit. quickly check they're all assigned to the correct channels so I'll open the mixer again to get a better overview. So while we're at it, I'll load up the other tracks as well. Click on track 5, 
assign that to MIDI channel 5. Click on slot 5. Load a sound. That's already assigned to channel 5, but the output needs to be assigned to 9 and 10. Track 6. MIDI channel 6. Select slot 6. Load a new instrument. And set the audio output to 11 and 12. Down to track 7. Assign it to MIDI channel 7. Click on slot 7 and load another instrument. As I've pre-selected the MIDI channel, the receive is set to 7 as well. And I need to assign the output to 13 and 14. Last but not least, track 8. MIDI channel 8. Click on slot 8. Load a new instrument. MIDI is again pre-assigned to 8. I need to left click and assign the audio outputs to 15 and 16. So that's the lot. Check the last four instruments. I need to turn that one up a bit, so I'll click on the relevant slot and turn up the volume control for the French horn. So now we can save that as a multi by clicking on plugin and going to patch save. I'll save that to the GPO folder. I'll replace the existing one. Now if I remove all the instruments, then go back to plugin, patch load, open the GPO folder, new multi. So the multi patch has been reloaded and if I click on the different instrument slots you can see that the audio output routing and the MIDI receive channels have been retained as well. One thing worth noting, I've been using a MIDI controller to play the sounds, a MIDI bass guitar actually, but if you want to audition the sounds by clicking on the keyboard using the mouse, you need to select the relevant instrument slot in order to audition that sound. Also, if you need to adjust some parameters, you need to have that relevant instrument selected so you can make the desired adjustments. Anyway, hopefully that gives you an insight into using multiple outputs on the original GPO player. <laughs>